Attorney General and Minister for Legal Affairs, the Honorable Stedroy Benjamin, says the government is very determined to ensure that the Barbuda Land Act reflects the position of the unitary state of Antigua and the Barbuda. 1981, when Antigua became an independent nation, it was comprised of Antigua, Barbuda, and Redonda. And as such, the government is attempting, through this legislation, to restore the position of land ownership in Antigua and Barbuda, as it was in 1904. In that act, it was clearly stated that the lands of Barbuda are vested in the Crown, and that is the legal position. Minister Benjamin says the government is seeking to ensure that persons in Barbuda can have freehold and leasehold titles of land on the Sister Isle. At this particular point in time, it's alleged quite wrongfully, that the lands are being held in common. That is a legal fallacy, and the government intends to correct that position. He notes that it is such an important piece of legislation that he is inviting all persons, including those in the diaspora and the international community, to listen to the parliamentary debate. The Attorney General is also encouraging all persons to visit www.laws.gov.ag and pay attention to the Barbuda Land Act 1904. Invited them also to read the case which was decided in the courts of Antigua in 2001. Now, those cases can be found in the www.oeccourts.org. Sorry, it's www. Ecourts.org. The Attorney General is of the view that once these documents are read, everyone will be able to fully understand and follow the government's position in this matter. MP for Barbuda, the Honorable Arthur Nibs, has also defended the change in the Land Act, noting that it will benefit Antiguans and Barbudans as well as investors. Alciana Tito reporting for ABS News.